Crystal Blair reporting. Meanwhile, for many Arkansans, it can be hard to communicate their feelings when it comes to mental health. And advocates say it's even harder for the deaf community because they say the state isn't meeting their needs. Legislation would fix that or do its best to try to fix it. Carrie Kapoor, Jess Tudor joining us now live from the newsroom with details about a bill that's now on its way to the House. Jess. Yeah, hey, Bob and Ashley. The bill just passed out of committee after failing the first time. It would make sure deaf patients have the resources they need when going through counseling and treatment. A conversation at the Arkansas Capitol in different languages. One signed, the other spoken. This state's not meeting the needs of the deaf community. Carrie Ingram runs the only specialized mental health program for the deaf community in the state. Of the more than 60,000 deaf Arkansans, less than 5,000 need these services. It's not a huge impact um, on our state to do something like this, but if they don't, we're facing a lawsuit. Other states, more than a dozen, have been sued and lost or threatened with a lawsuit for failing to provide adequate mental health services to the deaf community, like knowledgeable interpreters during counseling sessions. We want Arkansas to, to be on the forefront of doing the right thing and not wait until we are sued. Representative Charlene Fight is sponsoring a bill Ingram wrote based on the other state's settlements and agreements. It would require the Department of Human Services to hire a deaf services coordinator to oversee mental health professionals and their services. We're throwing away money. Uh, we're doing things that could potentially be more harmful for the deaf community. In the end, Ingram wants to make Arkansans more mindful. When the bill first ran, lawmakers decided its fate on a voice vote. And so the deaf community in that room had no clue what the vote was or who voted for what. Now, if the bill makes it to the governor's desk, Arkansas would be the first state in the country to pass legislation like this. Back to you. Okay, Jesse, thanks very much. Well, the hog hoops facing another.